Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jim, this is Adeline, and I do a lot of cool stuff on EVs, cars, tinker with solar, a lot of cool stuff. But most importantly, or probably most popularly, I invented the range extending camper. So it's here connected to my truck. I've been driving around with it for a few days just to test it and make sure it's all good and all working. But in today's video, I actually make the connection and do the first test of the T-Rex range extending camper and my Ford Lightning. If you're new to the channel, basically it has an 85 kilowatt hour Tesla battery pack in the bottom of it. And it has a bunch of amenities. It has AC power, it's got a TV in there, uh, Apple TV, all that kind of cool stuff that you really need while you're camping, right? I have a bunch of videos about how I built it. I wrapped the whole thing in fiberglass, so it was been quite the endeavor. <laughs> but today is the first video of me testing it with my Ford Lightning. So I hope you enjoy the video and feel free to like, share, subscribe. There's never enough time in a day, <laughs> but I got everything all connected. This is the first time that both of these guys have been connected with the new cables and it's all ready to go. The T-Rex is on. I've got my switch panel on. The red means the contactors are on. Blue means my DC to DC converter is on. And we are good to go for the first test drive. You guys ready? Ready. I got my wife and kid in the car. Let's the front seat, hi. Hi. Let's check my voltages. Why is that off? That should have voltage. Hmm. That's not good. All right, to be continued. All right, I got it. It's crazy hot like usual. But yeah, I've got them all connected. They are all working now. All it was was a bad connection in the Anderson connector, the brand new Anderson connector that I have for the truck here on the truck side. So I've got those connected. Those are very close in voltage. As you can see, the truck itself is 389.7 volts and the battery pack in the T-Rex trailer is 385 volts. So what I'm gonna do is connect them, thanks to my AUX beam switch right here. As soon as I hit this button, it's gonna close the contactor and connect these two in parallel. There, and now you can see them adjusting. There's 36 amps flowing I believe it was, yeah, out of the truck and into the T-Rex camper. So it probably won't take too long for 32 amps to balance, but that's what's going on. Sorry, I know I'm sweaty. It's just so hot out here. But yeah, so these are gonna be balancing for a little bit and then uh, I'll take it for a little drive before bedtime. <laughs> All right, so far so good. They are connected in parallel and they're balancing. It started off around 33 three amps, something like that. It's down to about 12. So it doesn't take too long. It's only been maybe five, 10 minutes or so, but they are so far working. I haven't driven it yet, but I anticipate everything is gonna work just fine because knock on wood, it always has before. <laughs> I'll let these guys balance a little bit longer and then I'll go for a little drive and make sure it's all okay. And if you guys happen to be in the Knoxville area, there is a huge car show happening this Sunday and I'll be there. It is one of the most epic, biggest car shows you'll ever see in your life. It's the Harper's Car Show. They have all kinds of exotics. Of course, they'll have EVs there. They'll have a lot of muscle cars. It's amazing. It is one of my favorite car shows of all time. I think they do it like twice a year. So if you guys are in the Knoxville area, it's August 8th, I think, something like that. It's just this coming up Sunday. I'll leave info about it in the description below. So if you're in the area, stop by and say hi. I will be there with my Ford Lightning and the T-Rex camper. But a little bit longer, I'll take it for its first test drive. Hi. <laughs> so here we are, it's Caleb and I. It's very fitting that Caleb is here with me on this test drive because if you follow my channel and you remember way back when I tested the T-Rex camper and my Model X for the first time, he was a little dude. He was tiny, he could barely even talk and he was in the back. So here we are, we're about to go for our first official test drive. And I'll turn the camera around and you can see it's been balancing for a while right now. And it's funny, it thinks that the power going from the truck to the T-Rex is exterior temperature. 
interesting because we haven't driven, so no driving use there. And then actually right down here is the voltage for each battery pack. So they're both within the margin of error and still about eight amps is flowing from the truck into the T-Rex camper. So here we go. We are going to shove off for the very first time. The camera is on right now, buddy, buddy. No, I don't care. So I have to go down at a crazy angle because my driveway is so, so steep that the ball uh, mount scrapes. So I got to go super slow and careful across the grass. All right. All right, here we go. I'm going to do a little bit of driving and I'll report back once I have some numbers. All right, we're just driving around my little neighborhood and I realized that I didn't connect the trailer on the screen here. So unfortunately, you can't do a whole lot with the system here while you're in motion. So a few times I've had to stop and adjust things, uh, just physically completely stop the whole truck. So right now I have the T-Rex camper as the active camper and I just reset trip one. So it's going to start recording everything, hopefully. And maybe by the end of this little trip, we'll have some astonishing numbers to share because it's gonna show something ridiculous, like, I don't know, 50 miles per kilowatt hour or something like that. But now that I got everything reset and everything active, I'll hopefully have some numbers for you here shortly. It's getting dark, so hopefully you can even see me right now. So the numbers aren't too shocking because the packs are still balancing. So right now we're parked and you can see that it's still flowing six amps from the truck into the T-Rex camper. So that goes into the calculation that the truck makes for miles per kilowatt hour. So it thinks that we're using that power. It thinks we're using six amps by driving or accessories. We do have the air conditioning on. But we just drove for 17 minutes, 8.1 miles, and we got 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. And that's not entirely accurate, not entirely true. That's just what the truck thinks because some of the power is coming from the T-Rex battery pack. And I've mentioned this in plenty of other videos, other times I've done this, but in this case combined, I should have around 200 kilowatt hours of usable energy. So my guess is that while towing this T-Rex camper, I should get around 400 miles. So it extends your range as you're driving and you're towing. So it's pretty cool. I, I love doing this stuff. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this content as well. But I think I'll wrap it up there actually. It's uh, that's about it for this little update. If you guys are seeing this before the Harper's Car Show, feel free to come down to that at Westtown Mall in Knoxville, Tennessee. And if you're around and you can make it, I'll be there with the truck and the T-Rex. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Say bye, Caleb. Bye. <laughs> bye.